Hello friends! In this video, you'll see how have the actor for the TV series Melrose Place 1992-1999 changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Dr. Michael Mancini, Thomas Calabra, is a qualified specialist with a PhD in medicine and holds the position of cardiology surgeon. He is quite loving, inclined to treason, but he is also capable of helping loved ones and is characterized by responsiveness. Billy Campbell, Andrew Shu, is one of the employees of DND where he worked in the field of advertising, writing articles. He reacted negatively when they tried to fool him with a false pregnancy, has a strong willed face and curly hair. Matt Fielding has a medical background and practiced at a hospital. He is characterized by decency, helping people with a difficult situation, and he also has the trait of a detective, because of which he can be suspicious of some things. Played by Doug Seven. Alison Parker is a DED staff member where she's a writer and later became Billy's colleague. She's a sweet girl who can act decisively and can be polite. Due to troubles in life, she has an addiction to alcohol. The role is performed by Courtney Thorne Smith. Sydney Andrews is Jane's sister, but has no blood connection with her. Sometimes she behaved recklessly and could resort to blackmail to achieve her goals. But at the same time, Sydney is not without sympathy and compassion. She was ported by Laura Layton. Dr. Peter Burns works at the Wellshire Hospital as a surgeon. He can be quite a friendly person, but in certain situations he is demanding. Peter took advantage of his official position to take revenge on his former lover. The role is performed by Jack Wagner. Joe Reynolds, Daphne Zuniga, is a professional photographer has a strong personality and can be quite talkative when she drinks too much. Jo doesn't like to wear long hair, so she always leaves her hair longitude shoulder length, likes to wear bracelets. Jane Andrews Mancini was married to Michael. She doesn't like betrayal and even with strong feelings for a person, she's not able to withstand this for a long time. She has blonde hair and often preferred to wear short haircuts, played by Josie Bisset. Jake Hansen is well versed in the construction business and also knows how to drive a motorcycle quite well. He's a decent person who treats many people kindly and is able to act decisively. Doesn't stay away when a person is in trouble, played by Grant Show. Megan Lewis Mancini, Kelly Rutherford, began to make a living selling her body from adolescence and met her first husband after stopping this activity. She can be a loving and understanding girl who is not afraid of difficulties and can help her loved one. Taylor McBride, Liza Rina, was Kyle's sweetheart. She's distinguished by weak moral values and didn't value marriage cheating on her spouse. For the sake of attracting a man, she is capable of pretending to be pregnant. Dr. Kimberly Shaw worked with Michael Mancini, with whom she had an affair. She can be good-natured, but also if she is greatly offended, she can begin to take revenge. She had serious mental problems, but was able to cope with them, played by Marsha Cross. Kyle McBride, Rob Estes, is an excellent cook, although he has a good military background. He has a good disposition and strives to make really right decisions in any situation. He loves jazz music and was able to make his dream come true and buy the upstairs club. Samantha Riley, along with Jane Andrews, rented one room but didn't always take Jane's actions well. She doesn't like it when men are mentioning their exes, which makes her lose all interest in them. She knows how to draw well. The role is played by Brooke Langton. 
Craig Field works as an advertising manager. He is a handsome man with blue eyes and full lips who can be quite assertive and make bold decisions in the process of work. Under the influence of the situation, his psyche has slacked. He was played by David Charbot. Dr. Brett Cooper is an employee of the hospital and a specialist in surgery. If there is an opportunity to get a fairly large amount of money, then he will never refuse it. He has a watchful eye and is prone to killing out of resentment, played by Linda Nesby. Rhonda Blair, Vanessa Williams, is a smiling girl who has a positive attitude to life. She can be flirtatious and also has good plasticity as she teaches fitness classes. She has a love interest in Terence Haggard and may well propose to her lover herself. Ryan McBride is Sarah's father and also Kyle's brother, with whom he did not develop a trusting relationship. He can act distant and avoided taking the relationship from the girl to the serious stage, wears a watch on his left hand, played by John Newton. Bobby Perezzi has a related to Jack. He is a conscientious person and the path of crime is not for him. But various troubles in life affected Bobby and he became obsessed with revenge, which ultimately led to his death. He was played by John Annos Free. Lexi Sterling, Jamie Lunar, was romantically involved with Brad Cooper. She's a fairly wealthy woman with good business acumen, which allows her to run Sterling Conway Enterprises. She can be recognized by her red hair. Eve Cleary has been friends with Amanda since school, and by coincidence, because of her, she was forced to serve a long time in prison. Eve is a beautiful woman with a somewhat predatory look, a seductive curve of the lips, and a good voice. Played by Rena Soffer. Jeff Baylor, Dan Gauthier, enjoys sports and plays baseball. He showed great promise, but he didn't succeed in making a brilliant career as a baseball player due to an injury. He can behave quite arrogantly and is also able to take away someone else's woman. Jennifer Mancini, Alyssa Milano, happened to Michael's native sister. For her, studying is not in the first place, and she is more interested in love enthusiasm instead, loves to be flirtatious and can show some impudence, has a great figure and beautiful hair. Brooke Armstrong, Kristin Davis, worked for D&D as a publicist. She couldn't get along with her father because of his character, although she was similar to him in many ways. Brooke can be quite sweet, but can also be manipulative, sassy and deceitful. Shelley Hansen was related to Jake and she was married to his brother Jess. She is somewhat prudent and for her money is of paramount importance and she is ready to go to great lengths to get it. Good at pretending. The role is performed by Hudson Lee. Richard Hart was married to Mackenzie, but also had a love interest in Jane. He is a good designer and, together with his wife, has his own business. Richard can behave obsessively and is able to act in relation to the girl quite rudely, played by Patrick Muldoon. Alicia Barnett provides the services of a specialized lawyer and takes on various cases, but still tries not to cooperate with somewhat inadequate clients has expressive brown eyes and likes to wear earrings. The role is performed by Anne Mary Johnson. Hayley Armstrong, Perry King, is quite a wealthy person who can be irresistible, which often conquers girls. He could behave somewhat arrogantly and try to avoid obligations, which often spoiled his relationships with loved ones. Has a daughter, Brooke. Amanda Woodward is a DED employee who made her way through the ranks from art director to company president. She's not only beautiful, but also a strong woman, although sometimes she can react somewhat sharply to the situation. She was played by Ether Locklear. 
Sandy Lewis Harling works at the Shooter's Bar as a waitress. She has a pretty good appearance and even got a role in the movie, but because of her moral principles, she never appeared on the screens. Success can negatively take a toll on her. Played by Amy Locking. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.